Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, so fighting a guild called Olo. So I'm gonna try and let's see. Go in and fight against this guy called Eggs. Eggs. Okay, so what is this all about? Hmm. Interesting formation. Interesting. A Walia in the middle. I like it. Let's go into the battle screen and we'll try to figure out who is trying to chain what. Okay, so Livia usually goes first, that's just how it is. I have Velfern right there to protect against that. And then I'm guessing Beliaf to Walia to Velfern. So after that it's either going to be Jin or Anastasia or Foxy. So I do have Cecilia right there to prevent that from happening. So I'm going to chain to everyone. One, two, three, four. Asmod hopefully will get rid of both Jin and Beliaf. And then I will have a very strong Lian going into the middle lane. Hopefully we'll get rid of Velfern. So once I am able to get rid of Velfern, uh, yeah, the problem is Dwen, right? So Dwen might... You know, he might struggle a little bit because... Or should I make Dwen move last? I don't want my Dwen to die. So ideally if... Right now I'm predicting that my Cecilia might die, I'm not sure. And my Lian is gonna go. So 2 dead. If, uh, if Dwen dies, that's kind of risky to be honest. It's really risky. Uh, but I think I should be able to do this. Yeah, it's just a Lilian at the end. Yeah, I don't see why won't I be able to get rid of Seer and the rest. Hopefully I can get 3 stars. So let's go. Hopefully this strat works out. So let's go. This should work. I don't see why not. I will eliminate all the warriors in the first 2 rounds. Unless there's this annoying uh, skeletons that will spawn. Cecilia is alive. That's good. That's always a good thing. Oh no, Beliaf. Okay. Okay, a bunch of skeletons. Okay, that that Beliaf not dying. That was awesome. That Beliaf not dying right there saved my Dwen. Which is why my Dwen is still alive. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even joking. Like, oh, I'm so glad that that Beliaf, that Beliaf did not die. My Dwen would have died from one of the bombs either, otherwise. Damn, that luck, man. That luck factor right there. Holy. Okay, so next up we are fighting against, uh, let's see. Gear X I I I V I I I X What does that mean man? Uh Roman numerals then I've no idea man. <laughs> I've no idea. If any of you guys know, leave uh leave a comment below. Let me know what number is that. Okay, so we have this interesting formation right here. So we have Aaron, we have Lillian, Cecilia with Walia. So this is going to be fun for sure. It's a plus 14, Michaela. Double shield runes. Okay, so let's see what can I what can I craft for a strat. Alright, so from what I noticed so far, uh, the enemy will have Valfen going first, charging up, and then Walia to Michaela to Wilhelmina. So I'm going to use Lucius to tank. Uh, I know it's not the best idea because multi-hit might remove several of my death guard uh, hits, but I do have Asmod going in next. Hopefully with the chain will be enough to eliminate Cecilia. So this is where it gets tricky. So when I hit Cecilia, which is beside that Walia, I'm going to pillage the taunt. I'm going to absorb the taunt as well. So hopefully after that, my Christina will be able to get rid of all three warriors at the bottom. And then I don't have to worry about like Anastasia or uh, Vals, you know, just getting ready to obliterate my entire team. So I'm counting on this strat to really, really work. It's going to be hard. Uh, one, two, three. You know what? Just to be safe. Like, just to be... Yeah, I think I should be able to do this because after that, I'm not sure who will move next, but once the warriors are eliminated, if Aaron moves or if Lillian... It's either going to be Aaron or Lillian, right? Because everyone else is dead by then. So my Vals will take care of the rest. So hopefully... This strategy works out. I'm going to give this a shot. Let's go. Refresh. 
Okay, so Valfern, Walia, Mikaela, Wilhelmina. This is okay, so I think that was like two hits. Pillage the taunt. Okay, Christina, counting on you. Nice, Christina, nice. Ugh. Alright, that was that was a fun one for sure. That was a fun one for sure. Okay, so luckily the taunt uh, is no longer active from Asmut. When he pillages the taunt, I was worried right there that Valfurn was gonna like boom, blow everyone up. But yeah, this looks like a fun strat to fight against this team. Okay, so one more perfect win. Fortunately, got the guild badges. And with everything being said, we have one last battle to go. Let's go. Let's see who will be strong enough that I can fight against. Okay, so the final battle, we're going to fight against Dual Angel. So this is a... Look at this. It's very annoying to fight against. We have Laura. And then obviously Jean, Tamis. There's Hell though, which is quite unique. But I have a feeling like this is going to be annoying because of that Belliaf right there. And I was right, alright, so Belliaf to Tamis. Tamis is gonna buff everyone. And then I'm guessing it's uh Laura to Hell. Like most likely it's gonna be either Aaron or Sarah, since there's two taunters. So this is going to be really annoying. So I do have backup right now. So if you guys notice I did make a video recently. If you wanna use taunters uh like taunts in your team. Do not put them all in the same lane. Like, this is really, really bad. Hell has taunt, uh, Aaron has taunt, and Sarah has taunt. Ideally, you can just leave a Grace right there in that particular lane, and you would be safe from all the taunts possible. But of course, Lucius at the bottom, uh, I'm not going to have to, I'm not going to deal with that so soon. So I just want to try and eliminate everyone as soon as I can. So we will have Livia to. Serendia to Venaka, hopefully this will eliminate Hell, Aaron, and Jin. That will leave the skeletons behind though. So it's really scary. And then I'm going to send in Lian. Hopefully Lian will be able to eliminate everyone. And then of course I'm going to bring in uh, Vals. Hopefully we'll take care of the skeletons that Ceres form alongside with Livia. Livia has two vital runes. Very interesting. I might be able to one-shot her with Vals easily with this setup. Alright, so let's go. Let's go. Let's give this a shot. Hopefully this formation works out. Okay, so Beliaf, Tamis, Laura, Hell. I think that was a Livia first and I saw an Aaron. Okay, so we're safe. Pillage everything. Skeletons. Okay, plenty of skeletons. Boom! Wow, just wow. Look at that. Four skeletons. That's really scary, man. That is really scary. Oh, okay. Fortunately, I wasn't uh, hurt by these skeletons. But yeah, I, I think I'm in a pretty good spot right here. Should be getting a perfect win. Just gotta slowly remove that Lucius Death Guard right there. Okay, 17 turns. Can I make it? I think I can. Yeah, so Asmod's, Asmod's pillage, I mean Asmod's attack doesn't really count towards Death Guard, which is unfortunate. But yeah, here should do it. The final one from Livia. Boom! Alright, 795 damage. That's good enough. Okay, so the Lian and Asmod helps me out a lot in this particular formation. Okay, so as I mentioned in my previous Guild Wars video, if you want to put Taunters try to split them out so that it's harder for opponents to predict like when should when is the taunt going to hit and if they have on multiple lanes it's going to make it a lot harder to try and counter with a grace so do keep that in mind all right so i'm going to end the video here thanks a lot for watching three perfect wins very happy with the results if you haven't already subscribed give this video a like and i will see you guys in the next one have a nice day good Bye!